how do I, how do we go about actually practicing shifting uh, to be successful? And this video is one of three in a series. So if you haven't seen the other two, be sure you also check those out. Um, we're talking about this big shift here in the Dvorak Hemeres, the one that goes from the D up to the C up here. All right. So we said decisiveness, number one, got to decide where we're going. Next, land on the right note. Okay, now that we've decided what the right note is, we gotta land on the right note. So what is the right note? It's a C. Now I'm gonna show you something else and I am gonna turn on my metronome. So I'm going from the D to the C. So how about I just play myself a C here. That was a little sharp. And get that in tune. Get in tune my open C. But the great thing about this is that it's actually playing the frequency that I'm trying to attain. All right, so great. You can do this on your phone. You can do it with a metronome. I love my Seiko metronome. You'll see it in a lot of, uh, well, you'll see it in all the videos that I make actually. So uh, if you're curious about this, I'll put a link in the description uh, to this metronome. It's a really fantastic one. Um, all right, so there's the C. Uh, how about the A? Because I am landing on the A at the Fermat, all right? And of course I can also use the harmonic. Also, don't forget about my posture over here, my hand shape. Is that affecting landing on the right note? All right, use a mirror, use a device, okay? Make sure you're maintaining nice hand shape as you're going up there to these high positions. All right, so once I've got it really solid under my fingers and in my ear and in my brain, uh, what note it is I'm trying to land on, I wanna make sure that it is rhythmical. And of course, I wanna get my metronome out here again for this. And this Hemoresque is marked Poco Lento e Grazioso. And a little bit here in this uh, line leading up to the big shift here. All right, and that's staying with the metronome, of course, and not doing the largamente or the retard there at the fermata. But of course, I want to make sure that I'm practicing it, okay, with the largamente, with the retard. So how about I slow it down, actually, just for the sake of being able to do it with the metronome, I'm just gonna go twice as slow here as what we have going with the clicks. Now, if you're having trouble going 50 here, because it's kind of slow or starting to get slow, one of the great things about this metronome is that it will do subdivisions. So you can hear the eighth note and be really precise with the click. So how about I go? Oh, I missed that one. Great way to practice it here. And in a second, we're gonna go even slower, all right? And you saw me shift too far and go up too high. Whoa, bad. Um, last component, third, but certainly not least, one smooth motion, all right? This is the real killer. This should almost be number one, all right? I see so many students going up and they make a little, you know, they go and then they make a little jerk at the end or they go too far and then they correct or they make two or three maybe motions as they're going up. You want one smooth motion and stop on the note. Okay, one. All right, now, how do I break down what's here in this measure, these notes? How do I break it down and make my own little practice etude to be able to achieve all three things at once, okay? So what I'm about to show you here on the screen, let's get it up, um, is how I break down all difficult, all challenging, you know, shifts, big ones like this, all right, where you're going a minor seventh or an octave or whatever it is, is to take these notes, all right, and practice 
these notes, okay? Half notes is what I want. And maybe I even put half notes here. I love 80 for the tempo. Maybe somebody will leave me a comment. Maybe maybe there is an actual neuroscientist, because I am not a neuroscientist. But maybe there is one watching. You can tell me why I love 80 for this, okay? By the way, I think bowing is really important to this little practice etude that you're going to create here for practice. So um, in the piece, I'm going down on the D, up on the C natural. So let's make sure as we're moving our hand that we're moving it on a down bow, and I'm going to tell you why in a second. So here's how this looks. It starts up bow, and I'm going to go... You know, and also when I go that slow, I'm really testing my ears. Do I really have that C natural really solidified and internalized? Remember, you're teaching your hand to leave early, all right? When I say leave early, I mean as soon as this down bow starts, this hand is traveling up to the C. I'm leaving as soon as I'm able to leave. All right, so by doing it this way, I'm sliding over the course of that entire half note. All right, so watch on the screen. Up bow. As soon as that half note starts, and then when I get to that C half note, I change bows, right? Because that's what's going to happen in the music. Do it again. And then, and then do it going back. And the reason for the slide is so that my ear can hear when it's gotten to the right note. And I can take the slide out later. I don't have to slide, or maybe I want to leave it in for artistic reasons, right? Usually you don't want to slide that much. And if you put all these components together, as I just did almost, uh, you can come up with a great definition of a shift. One smooth rhythmical motion that stops on the right note. Let's say that again. One smooth rhythmical motion that stops on the correct note. Okay, get my metronome back on. Over and over and over again until it is comfortable. That's better. I didn't follow my own rule, listening to it in my head and making sure I knew what I had decided. See, it's so easy to do. All right. Decide what you want. Figure out what note you want to stop on. Make it rhythmical. One smooth motion. Watch that posture. All right. Leave me some questions down in the comments. Let me know what you think and uh, hope to see you soon. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you got something out of it, if you just simply enjoyed it, hit the like button below and subscribe. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like to see on this channel. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.